All right. Good afternoon, morning-ish. It is, I think it's like one o'clock or 12 o'clock. No, let me see. I have my phone in my pocket. 12.20. So, that is what time it's 12.20. It is pouring. This is the beginnings of Hurricane Irma. Um, what I wanted to show you guys is show you this retention pond is literally, so we're right here and our apartment's like right over there. So, I was talking to our neighbor and they did say that this has filled up in the past, which is one of the things I was worried about. Not too worried. I don't think it's gonna be so bad that it floods our entire apartment, but just to be safe, the risk of even getting an inch or two, because I can already see a stream over here and the other side of the parking lot, because there is another retention pond on the other side of the building. But because of it, I'm gonna put some sandbags by our front door. Today's not gonna be the most conventional vlog that you're normal used to seeing, but we're gonna share it with you. Well, I hope I can, we can put this up tomorrow and then we don't not have power. I got a plastic tarp with a little wall. I don't anticipate it going much higher. She is not phased at all by the hurricane. But I do think she has stuck her butt up on that door. All right, just to give everybody a little update. It is now about 3.30. It's been three hours since uh, my last vlog anything. It's been a pretty... Pretty calm three hours. It's just been raining the whole time. We haven't seen too much wind. We think it's going to be picking up the next couple of hours. But I did want to show you this pond because, or like a retention pond because, not that it's been raining too much, but like I think I've already seen about two or three inches added to it. Our neighbors did say that sometimes these drains have filled that we have in the parking lot, and the parking lot has risen to a, this point about. But here is our other retention pond, much bigger than the one I just showed you. Much bigger and much deeper. So I'm not, this is another reason why I'm not too, too worried about any flood damage coming our way because I mean, we've got a lot of space. That's the one thing about Central Florida. Anybody who's been to Disney or Universal or just in the area, there's so many retention ponds everywhere. There's so many like low cut areas that may not be a retention pond, but are perfect for flood waters to kind of, to flood in, rather than flooding in these residential areas. I gotta dry off this camera and get back in. And I think in the next couple hours, we, uh, we're gonna see a little bit more activity. So, we're ready for it. You haven't said hi to the vlog yet. Hello, everybody. You like my hair, do you? She's self-conscious because she hasn't gotten ready. <laughs> but she doesn't need to get ready. We're in like lockdown. Yeah. We've officially been home for like 26 hours. I think it's the longest period of time we've been home without going to Disney property. Yeah. No, really. Since for real. But Eve's loving it slash hating it. She gets sick of us being here. And She's used to her naps. Yeah, she has, a, she has like six or seven naps a day. And she's just not able to have them, I guess, while we're here. She can't just go around the corner and sleep, so... She gets feisty at times. All right, everybody. So, it is now 6.52 p.m. on Sunday. The winds have definitely picked up. I can hear like a howling, which is different because in Chicago we get bad thunderstorms with potential for tornadoes, but they don't have the sustainable wind in those storms like a hurricane. Um, but it's definitely picked up wind. It's definitely raining still a lot more. But here's the issue with our apartment complex is that I believe the power supplies are, the power lines are underground. And we have a few transistors that are near the lower grounds. So it's been raining for about 
steady for four, four and a half hours, but it's been pretty much raining for six hours. I think they got flooded. I heard popping. They're now out of service. So we don't no longer have power. So we've got our candles, we've got our lamps, we have Eve to keep us company, and we've got, well, I guess we'll just have to start eating all of our, uh, our meat, or our, our food that has to stay cold. So you never have to tell me an excuse to, to eat. But I think Sarah's gonna take, uh, Sarah's taking a quick shower right now before we lose, have the potential to lose our water if we do. At least warm water. Um, so that's what she's doing, and then we're gonna hang out. Everything I started like really quickly got everything ready in our one room that's gonna be like our designated hangout once it really gets bad because there are, there's a risk of tornadoes. So um, we want to be cautious and aware of everything possible that could happen. Whoa. Doggy. Freaks me out. She's dark, so it's hard to see her. These are cards. They're like your favorite thing. You could like just pick, look at this. Just pick one up. Oh, pick up the whole deck. Cut it. Cut it. Good girl. Which one do you pick? Oh, don't get cold coffee. This is going to be a good chewing session. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Sorry, I can't put it anymore right now. My dog needs some loving. an update we've had lost power maybe like an hour and a half ago longer than that look how spooky like, i look it was like 6 30 it's 8 20 it's the now. black flame candle yeah um it's pretty dark we took everything out of our fridge that wasn't just like liquids like anything that can go bad put it in a cooler with ice um what else have we done peter we got like all our tools and everything in our bedroom yeah and we put like blocked our windows and some stuff um and we're just playing cards and chillaxing watching, watching everybody use their, their lamps and everything in the apartment buildings across yeah. from us um yeah eve is, eve is doing pretty good she's just quiet over there chewing her toys like no problems there the wind gets a little bit loud um, but I think it's just the nature of the tunnels between the apartments. Yeah, because the buildings are like a little close but a little far too. This looks really spooky. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's like a howl, so hold on, let's, see, let's get quiet for a second. So it's 8.20 now. The worst of it's supposed to be here around 2 a.m. Yeah, so we definitely, I, I, I mean, I'm no meteorologist and I've never been through a hurricane before, but I, I give it from the way they were describing it that we're getting the 40 around 40 mile per hour winds gusts up to 60 maybe and then we may i mean it, it's it's taking more of a land-based path which means it's gonna weaken heavily but they're still anticipating we're gonna get like 75 to 85 90 mile per hour winds at the worst part but it's that will be the in the middle hurricane of the night. is to a category three right now two. Oh, it's at a two so that's good news and other than that i'll keep you updated all right, it is 10.06, and I'm going to check on the pond and the water. It's, now there's water here, not yet coming up to our door yet. That's from rainfall and going up there and falling here. At least I believe so, but I'm coming to check on the water to see if I can tell it all. No, I, I mean, you can't see from the camera, but from where I can see, it still is very, very low. And because of the way the rain's falling, there's not much rain over here. Here it is, and you can kind of see, if the camera put the light down so you can kind of see, there is tree movement over there. Still not flooding over here, not flooding in the parking lot, which is good for the cars. But like I said, it's only, only 10.08. Um, winds keep coming up and down and everything so looking pretty good but it is 11 38 water is the same spot 
You can hear the wind has gotten much stronger. It sounds much louder outside than it does when you're inside and I have the window open. Well, go back in we're looking still in a good spot for the much 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 weaker eye coming our way that hasn't grown at all in how close it is so we're looking pretty good Woo! time to go in Ooh, it's extra spooky <laughs> extra spooky it is 11.43. Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. That looks even more spooky. Alright, it is 11.43. We, did we tell them about the DVDs before? I don't remember. So, if we didn't tell you in two or three clips ago, um, we realized that I had my work laptop and that it's got a DVD drive. So, we've been watching some movies to kill some time. We're not going to bed until after the worst of it passes. So it is 11.43, the eye, or whatever's left of the eye, is supposed to be at Lakeland in the next 20 minutes. Which means it'll be here, the strong 95 mile an hour winds will be in our area um, probably the next 45 minutes. And they'll be around for an hour and a half to two hours if it keeps depreciating like it has been. But we're, we're feeling good, we're doing good. I just went outside again as you just saw. Rain's looking good, the wind is picking up and it's louder, but... The rain's no worse than it was. It's just been constant all day. But we have no water damage inside. We just don't have any power. We're just enjoying ourselves and eating our stockpile of non-perishables. Or, no. Oh, wait. Non-perishable? Stuff that can go bad, we're eating. <laughs> we're eating our perishables. And <laughs> Sarah's eating the perishables. I'm eating the non-perishables. Yeah. I just said Greek tacos. <laughs> <laughs> we're living like kings in the, in the Florida. Well, eating like kings. It's also getting humid in our apartment. It's like yeah, 78 degrees. Open. We have a window open because it's getting a little bit of circulation because it's not hot outside. It's just like the same temperature. Yeah, so, I was checking on you. Um, but we're just riding it out. Well, it is about one in the morning. The wood is left of the eye wall, if you can even call it a hurricane eye wall. It will be here in about 10 minutes. So we are in our second bedroom that we have covered the windows. It's got the ensuite bathroom that we have all set up with our tools, lights, medicine, everything we can need, water. pillows, water and everything. So just in case, like it's much weaker than it originally forecasted to be. So we don't anticipate needing to go into the bathroom, but if we do need to go to the bathroom and hide from it, um, we're right here for it. So it's about 78 degrees in our apartment right now, still no power. Um, and we're just gonna hang out here until it passes slash we fall asleep. And with that? With that, it's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.